Hello and welcome to Nebula Gaming, you're here with me, Capcom's Legend, where we're going to be looking at some of the new next generation consoles coming this fall. Okay, so just in case you've been hidden under a rock or you haven't got any idea what's been going on in the past week, then E3 uh, has been and gone and we've seen all of the new stuff coming. And, pff, wow, uh, Sony has basically just laid the smackdown on Microsoft, okay? Uh, there was this whole uh, DRM and used games thing that's been floating around for ages and during E3 while I was watching both pre press conferences uh, they had the Microsoft one first where they didn't address any of the um, concerns that the consumer had bearing in mind of course that the consumer is obviously the most important part of what well, the whole you're, this is the person you're trying to sell your product to and you're not addressing their concerns so that immediately just sets up a red flag for everybody they're just like oh my god um, why are you not listening to us okay basically consu a consumer should basically voice what they want out of a product and then the developer of that product should provide that service and Microsoft have come along and said that you know um, during trials with the consumer uh, we've seen that this has been a very popular thing. It, who have they been testing this on? Have they been testing it on their employees? Okay, I mean granted uh, if you work uh, for Microsoft you work at the the Xbox division Then yes, you probably are going to buy an Xbox So are these the people that they've been testing this on the people that of course? Yes, they're going to have the ultimate steady uh, internet connection that never disconnects ever uh, because they're probably playing from the actual inside the fucking company for God's sake right <laughs> but you know Sony came along later um, here it was like about two in the morning I think uh, in the UK when they did their press conference and they just blew it away and they did it in the best way possible they even saved it till about you know near the end they got everybody hyped up about the games they just showed more and more games I was quite worried that PS4 wouldn't have any new content to show because they'd already shown so many games during the first uh, reveal event that they did but no they brought it again and just coming out blatantly saying saying we support used games and we basically don't want to devalue your purchases because that's what it would do if you owned an Xbox One. You'd buy a game, you wouldn't be able to trade it in or resell it to get some of your money back. Okay? And you'd ask, why is that such a huge problem uh, besides, you know, it costs you a little bit more? The problem is that Microsoft, uh, they've got their heads so far up their own ass that they think the consumer has an unlimited supply of money. Okay? That's all they seem to be concerned about, kind of how they can bleed the consumer dry and empty their pockets in every way possible. Whereas Sony are now taking the approach of, okay, we could have done the same, but instead, uh, we understand that you don't have deep, deep pockets. So we can uh, sell you a new game that comes out, and you buy it, and you play it, and you enjoy it, but when another new game comes out you can take your old game trade it in and get another one because based on your current living situation you may not have unlimited supply of funds i mean come on who out of us is in such you know a well-off position that we can just you know buy every single new game that comes out most of us are not we're say middle class okay you know we don't have tons of money but we have enough money to get by you know to live to exist to pay our bills <sighs> um, the other thing again with the uh, always on DRM internet connection uh, this is basically a very good way for them to blame somebody else for their problems if nobody's seen this already think about it if the Xbox didn't function properly or there was something wrong with the online service or whatever this is Microsoft's way of pointing the finger at ISPs and going 
Oh, well it's probably Virgin or Sky or BT and that's the reason because it can't authenticate through that internet service provider based on certain ports not being unlocked and come on, we've seen this before with the Xbox 360, the fact that it would randomly disconnect on a lot of people through certain ISPs um, because certain ports weren't open and you'd have to go into your router settings and try and do it yourself. <sighs> this isn't... This is just so they can point fingers. I swear to God. Not only on account of the fact that they want to make sure that consoles don't get hacked, uh, you know, pirate copies aren't made. Dude, piracy has been around forever, okay? <sighs> Since like the invention of the VHS tape or the Betamax tape or just normal audio cassette tapes, people have been copying audio and video and games since forever and you think you can just randomly stop it just on today you know no no <sighs> when you do something like that and say it's always on drm and you take the route that ea had taken but then huh, randomly stopped you know uh coming up to the uh e3 press conference and reveal and whatever we all suddenly asked why. Why have they stopped that? Because EA and Xbox are basically, you know, they're getting married now. Because <sighs> they're such greedy companies and they both have the same ideals of trying to bleed the consumer dry for as much money as possible and having complete disregard for anything the consumer would want. Price, uh, it's a hundred dollars cheaper. If you're here in the UK, then the uh, see the Xbox One is four hundred and twenty-nine pounds, and the uh, PS4 will be a modest three hundred and forty-nine. So, uh, come on, we're saving eighty quid. It's nice. It's nice. Eighty quid. That that could get me. All right, let's say games are 40 quid when they release. Um, then we could possibly get, say, two games. If they're, say, around uh, pre-order pre prices at the minute are 55 quid. So I could see it being about, I'd guess about the 45 quid range for games on release. But they could even be 50. I, I don't see them being 55 dead on. That's just the pre-order price they put there <clears throat> on, say, Amazon. Uh, Tesco game, uh, your GameStop, whatever. Uh, just a placeholder price so that they can say you pay this much right now, and if it's cheaper when it's released, we'll refund you the money. Um, but God, how? How do you get this misled? After. Oh, I'm not sure if everybody else is quite as angry as I am, because <clears throat> um, it would be easy for me to slate Xbox if I owned uh, a PS3 rather than an Xbox 360. But I own an Xbox 360 because at that time um, the console was a lot cheaper, um, it offered Although you did have to pay for the online service, the online service was great. It, it didn't offer great customer support, obviously, because we've seen this before. Nobody offers great customer support. But, that being said, uh, it was just a great deal for the consumer at the time. And that's why everybody wanted your product. And now we're left in this... <laughs> really awkward situation where everybody who owns an Xbox 360 is jumping ship like it's sinking. We're like rats just running for the exit like get out of here oh my god which is to no surprise okay when all of the new features you put in a product are restrictions that's not a good thing okay new features you should be putting in are things that get you excited about the console and what are your new features? The fact that I, I don't even understand this. Okay, so you're telling me I can watch TV through. Oh my! I can watch TV through my Xbox, which is plugged into my TV, which is plugged into the the 
my cable box through a pass-through cable. Oh, I don't even get it. Why don't I just change the channel? Seriously, it's so much easier. It's so much easier. And then they might try and argue the point that, oh, well, it's a DVR box. Well, that's all well and good, but why does it have a 500 gigabyte hard drive? Okay, now, to some people, they may think, oh, 500 gigs enough, it will get me by. Okay, bear in mind that the games are now on Blu-ray discs and could be, say, I'd average about 35 gigabytes uh, per game at launch. Bearing in mind, the game size will get a hell of a lot bigger because of HD texture packs and they'll find out how to absolutely maximize um, like the system specs uh, just get just pull everything out of the console that is possible and throw tons of data on the discs that is going to be full in no time so if you wanted to use it as a DVR box and record in HD as well on all of this stuff it will be full in five minutes okay the problem is that the games have to be installed on the hard drive. They have to be in order to play them. And then the disc basically becomes useless. Again, this goes back to devaluing your purchases. This thing I physically bought from the a game or game station or wherever, Amazon, the physical thing I actually own and have in my hand is now completely useless. If I give it to a friend or whatever, he can't play the game. No one can play the game. It just... <sighs> I can't understand it. And another weird thing, uh, well, before we get off that topic as well uh, of new features and things that they think will get you to buy that console, really a Kinect 2.0, that's it. You know, so you can change channels with your Kinect, that's really all you could come up with. To be honest, these are things that should have been in the original Kinect, and you would have gone, that's pretty cool, you know, and people still would have bought it, because the Kinect 1 was, it was something new we hadn't seen before, and that would have been the reason to buy it. You know, I mean, I picked mine up from um, CEX for, I think it was 70 quid. Not a bad price. Um, I got a probably only a couple of games for it played them for the first couple of days and I've unplugged the connect and I haven't used it since you know that is my experience with the connect not the best one <sighs> but I don't know man this seems to be the fall of Xbox I mean this is going to be the biggest console flop I have ever seen just so much negative press, so much negative comments from just the consumer in general. Everybody is talking about it. And Microsoft are going to have to do something radical in order to try and change people's minds. They're going to have to say, you know, well, we've listened to you, the consumer, and we're going to take off the DRM always online we're gonna let you use used games we're gonna let you do this we're gonna let you do that let you lend your game to your friend and he'll be able to play it at his house this is the only way that they're ever going to be able to try and salvage something from this you know going oh well we're gonna buckle under your pressure this is the only way because then it will make the consumer feel like wow I actually have some influence on the product that I want out of a company. Hmm. To be that arrogant, you know, to to say we're doing this fucking like it or lump it from a company that's trying to sell you a product is hysterical. Okay? You don't like it? You don't like the fact that you can't disconnect this console or whatever? You can't disconnect the uh the connect or take it offline or take it around a friend's house take it around your nan's house when she doesn't have an internet connection take it on holiday where there's no internet connection or whatever and jack tretton you are my hero okay 
That's the president and CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment America. And that guy, just what a troll. You are an amazing, amazing troll. And Don Matrick, you are the biggest prick I have ever seen. Um, if any of you haven't seen uh, the video that got leaked, um, because I don't even think they realized that the camera was still rolling um, when he was interviewed, he basically just said, kind of, for those people who can't get an internet connection or a solid internet connection, um, we do have a product that is available for people, and it's called Xbox 360. Wow, what a prick! What a prick! Come on! You're trying to sell a new product, okay, and trying to get people excited about it and say, well, if you don't like what we're doing, pfft, just keep your Xbox 360. Go go buy our last generation stuff. You know what? Fuck you for not having an internet connection. And the fact that they're actually excluding um, countries from a worldwide release. They're not doing a worldwide release. I can't believe this. Why would you exclude certain countries and you're basically killing your sales? They keep shooting themselves in the foot. And it's hilarious. It's like Asia. They won't get it until, I don't know, somewhere late 2014. Really? Really? One year after? Asia has a lot of money. Okay? It's a big place. It's a big fucking place. And you're just going to say, ah, pfft, we don't want your money. The thing that makes a console successful are its initial sales and investors, okay? You and me, okay? Us, the people. We make the console successful by investing in it early, okay? Now, let's say we have a ratio of, you know, one person buys an Xbox and to every one who buys an Xbox, nine people buy a PS4, right? Well, that's just going to make the online experience a hell of a lot better because you've got more people to play with. That's it. That's instantly it. Okay, that's what Xbox 360 had. It had more people to play with online. Okay? And they've said that the online experience will be better because they're going to have like 300,000 servers. Uh, I think it was originally they had 3,000 servers for the original Xbox which then they up to 15,000 servers for the Xbox 360 and then they've increased it now to 300,000 servers um, for the Xbox One. But how many people are going to be using these? And See, you've just, you've ruined it. You've ruined it. The 300,000 servers you've got for dedicated servers, so you have no hosts during online gameplay, is great but the fact is you're gonna have nobody using that now because you've just ruined your image okay ruined I'm not even sure if you could fix this gamers do not forget okay they will remember every interview they've seen they'll remember all of E3 they'll remember all of the good and bad points that were shown about the console they'll remember any sort of slip up you made about describing the way a feature works and whatever because these are the things we're interested in about making us buy your product I urge you anybody who is listening to this go out and simply pre-order your PS4 now okay the selected retailers on the PlayStation website where you can pre-order right now and uh, I would actually encourage you to uh, vote as well uh, if I can just find the website uh, if you go to www.xbox1versusps4.com I will leave a link in uh, in the description in the video I'll leave it wherever don't worry you'll see it um, go there and vote. I'm looking at it right now, and <laughs> Xbox One has, let's see, PS4 has 71.94% uh, of the votes, and Xbox One has 28.06 from the time I'm making this video. 
That is ridiculous, okay? It's climbing up to three quarters of the people who've been on this website have just gone, I'm getting a PS4. Bearing in mind that Xbox held the majority market share of people playing their device, their system, and everybody is jumping ship in drones because they know that this is going to be this is going to be worse than the Sega Saturn. Okay, the Sega Saturn's big downfall was the high price. Okay, but this this is a combination of the two. This is the high price, and this is just all of the restrictions put in place to hinder you. You're supposed to help, not hinder. <sighs> but what do you think about uh, everything that's gone on? This basically this shitstorm that has arrived, and just Sony has just dropped its pants and taken a shit on Microsoft's chest, and it's hilarious. It is hilarious. Anyway, um, this has been Capcom's Legend from Nebula Gaming. Um, let me know what you think. Um, is there any way you think that Microsoft uh, could somehow save the Xbox One? Uh, because it's failed before it's even got out the door. Okay? Um, let me know what you think. This has been Capcom's Legend, Nebula Gaming, and I'll see you next time. Game the fuck on.